Hey guys, welcome to IntelliPath. So we have been receiving a lot of questions regarding how to install Anaconda and how to use Anaconda to run Python scripts and codes. So keeping that in mind, we have come up with this video that will provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Anaconda. But before we move forward, do subscribe to IntelliPath's YouTube channel so that you never miss out on our upcoming videos. Now let's go over the agenda. So first of all, we will see how to install Anaconda. After that, once we have installed Anaconda, we will see how we can start Anaconda and launch Jupyter Notebook. After that, we will learn about some basic mathematical operations in Python using Jupyter Notebook. After that, we will learn how to make comments in Python. And then finally, we'll learn about escaping characters in Python. Also guys, if you're looking for an end-to-end -end Python certification course, then IntelliPath provides just the right course that will help you master Python programming. The link is given in the description box below. Now, without any further delays, let's get started. So the latest version of Python is 3.6. So this is your anaconda.com slash download. So uh, download and here, uh, you know, I hope all of you are in Windows, but you know, it, it comes with whichever platform you are, Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. And just download 3.6 version, but not the 2.7. Uh, we will be using 3.6 version. So the difference between these two is that there are some syntactical differences is there between python 3.6 and 0.7 and uh there are and also look at the operating system that you are using 64 bit or 30 32 bit depending on the depending on whatever operating system you are 64 bit or 32 bit 32 bit just download the uh, 3.6 version so you know um uh, you guys can you guys can just go ahead and download it right now on uh, the com slash download so you know once you have downloaded everything what will come as a if you will come as a uh, there will be a prompt that will come so here uh, windows whichever version i'm in windows 10 i think so you can just uh, search for you can search for once you have completed installment you can just search for anaconda prompt so as soon as you're one thing is already learning so i'm just uh, going to kill this thing and uh, just showing you know which ide basically we're going to use so this is your anaconda prompt coming up and here in this anaconda prompt we just type jupyter that is j u p y t e r jupyter notebook so it comes for j, j u j u comes for your uh, julia so there is also another language called uh, julia p y t is for python p y t r is actually for python and then r is r so you know this is the ide for that support both julia python uh, julia python and r so that's why it's called the jupyter notebook so you know you can just uh, it, um, just enter the Jupyter notebook so the kernel will start and this kernel will take you to the local host and uh, this is the, um, this is what it will come um, so this is what you will see after you have downloaded and you have you know you have just uh, done the uh, Jupyter notebook so here is what you will see and the, this is your home section that will look like so here uh, you know if you are uh, going to start a new notebook so what you will do is that just click on the new and then you will pick Keep clicking on the python 3 so this is the python 3 and then the uh this thing will come up so the sale will come up so you'll see there will uh, come like kernel ready so that means that you are now all set to go so you know you can just write whatever you write want to write you just write like print print hello and you know sorry so you can just uh, write your first icon yeah, so, so you can just uh, uh, calculate, you know, so it's happening like plus three. Yeah, so, you know, whatever you want to type or just want to type, you can just type whatever you want to type. So, uh, and, uh, you know, this. Is, so if you want to get rid of it, just go here and cut the selected cells. So this is, you know, this is what you can see this is in code, but, you know, you want to write something. Uh, some heading or want like this. so you want to write like this is my first python class so you can go here and change it to either heading you can change it to heading or a uh, markdown this and then you know so this is like uh, this is my first python class so this would be uh this uh, in the in the text for format of it and if you want to uh, save it so here you can go here and uh, save and checkpoint but before that you can, should uh, rename it so you know right now it is definitely mm, yes. 
five, 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 five. So here I'm I'm renaming it and then first rename it and then you know you can download it as so that you can download it. Uh, there are uh, several uh, formats that you can download it. So the, you can download the most preferred way to download is is your IPython notebook. That is your dot IPython notebook. So you can just you know uh, download this one and so it will get downloaded and you know you can if someone has shared these uh, any Python notebook IP in in this form uh, in this extension then what you can do to upload it you can uh, to bring it into uh, say your friend you are collaborating with your friend and that person has sent you and you want to further work on it so you can just go ahead and click on this upload and in in this upload so you know I have several things that are already there so you know wherever which file you want to do just click on that and after clicking on that file will come into your uh, in this in this home section so in this section quick info guys if you're looking for an end-to-end -end python certification course then intellipad provides just the right course that will help you master python programming the link is given in the description box below so now let's continue with the session in this section it will come over it will come over here other than that, uh, the other things are that, you know, in this notebook, in this notebook, you can also visualize, you can also visualize uh, several, you can also visualize uh, several, several images as well. So you see these images, you can just, so, you know, Matplotlib, when you'll be doing with the data visualization, you can just plot all those things that visualize it in the notebook itself. You do not need any other means, need to go. Uh, so this is one platform where you can do all sorts of things at the same time. So that's why, you know, the because of this versatility, this is getting so, so popular. So, uh, so you know, uh, just go ahead and uh, uh, try to download it. Or if you are kernel ready, that means that, you know, it has uh, every connection has gone to the same line and it has it has got connected. So this is the Jupyter notebook. Uh, so here. Uh, it you are now ready to do whatever you want to hmm, do on your on your uh, notebook. You have to download your Anaconda. Download the Anaconda 3.6 version, uh, depending on your uh, operating system, hmm, 64 bit or 32 bit, whatever system that you have. So you know, once you have done it, you can just upload it in your uh, Python environment that you are working, and you can see the entire. And and these notebooks are like you know very well commented, and uh, everything is there basically. So you can just go through them. Uh, you know, very basic uh, uh, class. Uh, we'll start with the variable type. So you know, uh, variable type. Uh, if you are familiar with any computer language, what does a variable do? So variable is basically as a reserved memory. So you know, by variable means that we are going to do some operation on that. So we create some reserved memory location for for that. Uh, and there could be different types of uh, variables. There could be an integer. There could be a floating point. Floating point means, you know, the decimal point is there. Or it could be a string. String means, your, you know, the words are out there. So, uh, you know, like any other uh, languages, Python uh, definitely supports all of that. Uh, it supports integer, floating point, string, everything. All those variables uh, Python can do. And, you know, uh, I think some other language you need to define that. This this is like in, I think it was in, uh, um, uh, I don't remember one of those, like you had to define what type of variable it is. You do not really need to do it here. It will just understand what you're talking about. Um, uh, so, uh, okay, with, with that, the supports, it also supports the long and complex. If you have the complex numbers, you know, square root of minus one is a complex number. It also supports uh, that uh, complex number, complex number as well. So these, these uh, Python is well good uh, uh, doing all this type of uh, variables. You can work uh, easily with them. Now, uh, when it uh, comes to the mathematical operations, so mathematical operations like, you know, you are just trying to add, subtract, uh, subtract, then multiplication, division, module, power, all these things are very, very easy and very easy and clear and clean syntax. So, you know, for... Uh, yeah, so it's it's very easy. So you know, you if you have, uh, uh, as I was showing, like uh, two, you want to do two. Sorry, here my 
keyboard was something two plus three. If you want to do two plus three, that is, you know, you can just write two plus three or two minus three. Or you want to do a, 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 a multiplication. Two multiplied by three. Six. So this is all uh, you can do, or you can also assign them to another uh, another variable as well. So uh, depending on it, maybe you know you can want to store what is the value of uh, two plus three, a plus b, uh, into another variable. That is also you can do over here. And also be careful of this print statement. If you are into 2.7 or a lower version, you do not need these uh, brackets. But starting from 3.5, you to print anything, you have to have these closing brackets. Otherwise, it's not it's, it's going to throw an error. So, you know, these uh, closing brackets are mandatory for uh, 3.5. So like this, it, this is the, your addition, this is your subtraction, multiplication, and then modulo. What is a modulo? Modulo is nothing but the remainder. For example, you know, you are trying to divide four by three. So, you know, what is your remainder? Remainder is one. So that is the modulo. That is the modulo. And how you get the modulo? That modulo is given by the percentage sign. That is the percentage sign. It gives you that. The division is just the by division, B divided by A. And if you want to do a power, that is, you know, any number to the power, any number, that is done by two stars. So one star is for your multiplication and two star is for the power. So this is, you know, very, very simple mathematical operations in, in Python. Uh, that's how it works. And um, and and then comes your commenting in Python. So you know, single line comment. You want to just have a single line comment like uh, this is my first. Uh, uh, this is my first program. Or you know, to start three. You just want to want to write. Uh, this is my first code, and you know, you just cannot write like that. You have to have this commenting out. So the different styles of commenting in different languages. Your a uh, single line comment, it just is hash. So that hash, uh, you know, changes into green. So that then it will find it, and then this is a uh, uh, single line comment. But if you are using multiple line comments, so the multiple line comment would be the control and then this slash that will use your multiple line. So for example, and you know, it will, whichever line you want to comment. So just, uh, just uh, select them and then you use control and this, that is uh, uncommenting and then and then this, this is with your commenting, commenting and uncommenting. So this is your uh, this is how it happens your multiple this is how it happens your multiple line comment this is how it happens your multiple line comment um, escaping characters what is an escaping character so you know uh, so you are using a string so a uh, string again you can enclose the string in both a uh, single quote or double quote it does not matter you can use any type of quote but uh, just be mindful that uh, if you are using a uh, single single quote to start, you should end the string with a single quote only. If you are using double quote to start a yeah, start a string, then you will end the string using double quote only. So there should not be any mi uh, mismatch. Like you know, you starting with a single quote and you are ending it with a double quote. Things should not uh, do like that. So, so you know, if you have an apostrophe S in, in, in your string, then how are you going to handle handle that apostrophe S? Because as per if you just use a single quote and start and then then what Python will think is that, you know, your string is only up to this, that is. But and then it is again reading and then it is finding another closing um you know, closing uh, quote. So, you know, it gets very confused if you write it like that. So, uh, so it will give you, uh, throw you an error. It will tell you that this is an invalid syntax. So how are you going to use, how we are going to use the 
apostrophe s here so you just basically have to use a slash so if you use the use a slash if you just use a slash you know in between the apostrophe s and that then for then python understands that it is basically an apostrophe s the string is not ending string is basically going to end at the end so this is how um, python is going to understand and you are going to use and this is called your escaping character so, so this is the way you are going to use your uh, escaping character here quick info guys if you are looking for an end to end python certification course then intellipad provides just the right course that will help you master python programming the link is given in the description box below so this brings us to the end of this session i hope you found this video informative if you have any queries do leave a comment and we'll get back to you at the earliest thank you for watching